Hey guys, um, I'm sorry, I really hate to use YouTube for something like this because I know it's probably going to be really confusing for people because I'm, I know that I've been in character this entire time up until now, um, but I honestly don't care about any of that right now because I just want to hear from my friend. I want to know that she's okay and I, I want to be able to, I don't know, I just feel like I have so many people on this channel that follow me on such a big platform. I would be really stupid if I didn't at least mention what was going on. Um, basically, I have, a, I have my, my friend Thursday morning went for a hike on Mount Baldy, which is in this uh, Angeles National Forest. And I please, please, I'm begging everybody to please not make like jokes about, you know, oh, the orb must have taken her or, or uh, you know, you. I know it's really like a boy who cried wolf situation. And I was always really scared that something like this was going to happen because then if I ever actually needed help with something, nobody would believe me because all I ever did was post jokes and, and post fake videos about this exact type of thing happening. But I don't know what else to do. I mean, you can believe me or not. That's your call. But I just right now, I really need help because she, I feel so stupid because I feel like I, I asked her, what hike are you taking? Where are you going to be? When are you going to be back? And I didn't want to be annoying, so I didn't press her when she didn't answer me about it, but I guess because she's normally the type of person who who doesn't, she's not very good at texting, and so I'll text her and, you know, she'll take a few hours to respond, and then I'll respond right away, right after she texts me back. And then, she, and then she'll, it's like, she'll take another couple hours to respond. And I'm always like, that always annoys me. Cause I'm like, well, weren't you looking, aren't you looking at your phone right now? There's no way that you put your phone back in your pocket in under 0.2 seconds after I texted you. So that's fine. I mean, I understand that I understand that people need their boundaries and that people need space and certain people are introverted, but I just, it's, but then we get into one of these situations where I don't know what's going on. And, and, and the only place the only place that my mind can go to is the worst possible case scenario. And I've talked about that with my therapist a lot about how I've, I always go to from zero to a hundred, but I really just, I don't feel good about this because it really feels like something's wrong because she left Thursday morning. And I, like I said, I didn't, I asked her, but she didn't tell me what hike she was taking, but everything that I've looked up says that the I mean, the longest hike that I could find to the top of Mount Baldy was only seven hours. And I know that that's a long time, but, but, but it, I don't think that she was going to be overnight camping. I don't think that she was going to be spending the night. And she never, I feel like she would have said that, but also she didn't tell me what the rest of her plans for the weekend were. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry. I know that I'm like talking a million miles a minute, but I'm just trying to get all this out because basically I called the, so yesterday I texted her, I texted her before she was supposed to go hiking. The last time that I heard from her is Wednesday night. And I know that she was going to be hiking Thursday morning. And I texted her Thursday morning and I said, good luck with your hike. And she didn't answer. So I figured maybe she was in the mountains and she didn't have service or whatever. I texted her again in the middle of the day around lunchtime during my lunch break to say, how's your hike going? And not only did she not answer, it didn't, it didn't even say delivered. It wouldn't deliver. So then I was like, okay, she definitely doesn't have service now. And then what scared me was that seven hours later, about, I don't know. I mean, that's what I think it was because I had looked up before she went what the, all the hikes were because she never told me which hike she was doing. So I looked up all the hikes and I think that she was going to do the seven hour one, but I don't know. That's the one that goes from the bottom to the top of Mount Baldy. So I, I waited until that. And, and then I said, how's your hike going? You know, and she didn't answer that either. And that didn't say delivered either. So I was like, okay, well, I, I wasn't really expecting her to answer that because she was probably in the middle of hiking and she probably wouldn't get it because she has enough service. Um, and then, and then I texted her after that. Then what scared me was that I texted her later that night when it was about to be, because it was the sun was going down at like six or seven, and I texted her and I said, "Hey, um, was your hike okay? I'm kind of worried because the sun's about to go down, and so if you're if you're in the middle of the hike, you need to go back or get some help because the sun's going to go down and, you, and then you're going to be stuck out there because um, because it basically if the if everybody who hikes if you hike then you know this too if you if you're hiking and the sun goes down and you're in the middle of nowhere you're screwed that happened to me once at topanga state park it's called which is in the santa monica mountains and it was when i first moved to la and i was just really stupid and i wasn't prepared and i was i had brought my camera and i was taking pictures of the sunset and so i was really excited because i had just moved to california and i was like this is so beautiful and i was taking pictures of the sunset but then um but then i 
didn't realize, I mean, I guess I just didn't think about it. It's like, it's different because on the East Coast, um, you know, you the, it's really kind of impossible to get lost in the East Coast hiking because you're so close to civilization somewhere and it's very rare on the East Coast, at least in Maryland or area where I grew up, that you would not have cell service. That's very rare. And so when I got here, I just wasn't prepared for that. You know, so I was, I got caught in the middle of Topanga State Park and I, and I couldn't figure out where, I, I, I guess I made a wrong turn or I made up something because I was literally lost until midnight. And I, that was the mo probably the most scared I've ever been in my life because it was completely pitch black dark. I had no idea where I was. I had no cell service, nothing. And so I was honestly, I don't know if you're ever in a situation where you get really scared and you are like, oh my God, this is, you like your, your, your brain, your rational brain is like, okay, I think this is really, really bad. I think I'm completely screwed. Like rationally, you know that, but it's like your emotional self doesn't know that because you're like, well, there's no way, there's no way this is possibly happening. I guess it's like denial, they call it, but I just know that I was the scaredest I've ever been in my life. And I was like, am I gonna have to sleep here? Like, am I gonna, I, I couldn't even call it. Even if I wanted to call the ranger station, I couldn't have called them because I didn't have cell service. And I was walking around trying to find anything. And I found a, like an antenna and a couple of antenna towers, but that wasn't even, an, that didn't even do anything because it didn't, I guess they're, I don't know what they were. They put a whole bunch of stuff out there. Um, and the whole time I didn't see a single soul. And when I got back to the parking lot, it was just my car in the parking lot. Finally, the, end of, the way I ended up getting out of there was I, I had taken pictures the whole time on my DSLR camera. I have a Canon T3i and so I looked back at the pictures. I looked back at all the pictures that I had taken to sort of like reverse engineer the the um, the trail that I had been on. And so I looked at all the pictures and so I was able to say, okay, I, this is this, I recognize this, you know, and then, and then I could go through the pictures and figure out where I had made the wrong turn. Um, so I was really lucky, but I don't, you know, again, I guess the reason I'm bringing that up is because I was so scared. And if I hadn't had my camera, I don't know that I ever would have made it out. And I don't know what I would have done. And that's Topanga State Park. You know, you're even then, there's houses pretty close. I mean, you're still in the middle of nowhere, but it's but that's a neighborhood. Mount Baldy is, you go to, well, I don't know how much of it, like 11 miles or something, into the wilderness, and it's mountain. And so if you get stuck there, you're not coming out. I mean, you've probably seen in the news, people die up there all the time. And so it's real, I mean, I know that I'm really panicking, but I feel like I'm not overreacting because this is the kind of situation where I feel like it's so easy to get lost and it's so easy to die, and I just don't, I just really wish that she texted me back and I, 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 okay. So this morning, last night I texted her, I texted her a, quite a number of times actually, because I was saying, uh, you know, I said, how was your hike? It's going to get dark. And then after it got dark, I sort of jokingly said, Hey, are you alive? You know, are you lost in the middle of the woods? Am I going to have to call the ranger station and the police and airlift you out of there? LOL, you know, something like that. She didn't answer that either. And so then I was, I could barely get to sleep. And I was trying to really, I, but I was trying to tell myself, well, maybe she's, so probably what happened was she didn't have cell service in the mountains. And then when she got cell service, she was really tired because it's a really long hike. So she probably just went straight to bed, you know? And so I said, that's gotta be it. So I went to bed and I figured, I bet by the time I wake up in the morning, tomorrow morning, I'm gonna have to text back from her. And so I woke up this morning and my heart, my stomach just dropped because I, I, opened the thing and I didn't have any text from her at all. It was still the text that I sent the night before. So I restarted my phone because I thought maybe I don't have service. You know, it was again, that was my, I was in denial. I was like, there's no way that this is happening. So I thought maybe I don't have, maybe something's broken with my phone. And I have to restart my phone to figure out if it's, if it's going to work for my phone. So I restarted my phone, but then I turned it back on and I still didn't have anything. And so then I started really, really panicking. I got really, 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 really scared. And so I called, first thing I did was I called 911 because I was like, my friend is missing and she went hiking on Mount Baldy and I don't know where she is. And, um, and they said they were very, very dismissive. They were not helpful at all. And I could tell that they didn't think that I was, because a lot of times what happens is probably even now I'm doing this where I get really, really anxious and I start talking really fast and I start sounding hysterical and I start sounding like a crazy person, but it's just because I'm really nervous. And I feel like if people, if I just didn't, if I could just get my anxiety under control to the point where I could talk normally and say normal sentences in a normal way, then people would understand what I was talking about. And then they would take me seriously, but they don't because I, because I sound like I'm crazy. Um, so the, so I could tell that the dispatcher was doing that. And she said, well, what you call the, lo you have to call the local authorities. Basically you have to call the people who are in Mount Baldy and I was like well who's that and she said well I, I can direct you to the whatever it is but it basically it's going to be like the 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 the, 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 the LA County uh, Rangers whatever the hell it is so I looked up the number for that for the for the for the Angeles Latin National Forest firefighters 
the fire brigade that's out there. And I called them and, and I said, okay, my friend is hiking on Mount Baldy and I don't know where she is. And she answered, as I answered my text message. And they were really dismissive too, because they said, do you have any other information? Can you tell us like what hike she was going to do or when she was going to come back? Or and I was like, no, I don't know because she didn't tell me that because I hadn't heard from her even before. So I don't know if she even maybe get back. I mean, she could have gotten in a car accident on the way to the trail for all I know. I don't know. So they were like, well, we can't do anything because you don't have any information. And so, you know, we, 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 we can't just send people out for every single time that somebody thinks that somebody's missing and freaks out. And that's not what they said, but they were saying something along those lines. And I said, well, it's because she didn't tell me any of that information. So you can't tell me that it's, is my friend. I mean, you're, you're just going to let my friend die then because I don't know exactly what she was doing and I don't know what her exact plans were. And she said, well, sir, we don't have any, you know, if you, if you can't give us any information, then there's nothing we can do because we don't know where to look and we're not going to waste all these resources going out in the middle of nowhere and bringing, because we have to bring it to the helicopter. And I'm like, isn't that what you're supposed to do? What exactly is your function if you're not going to go look for a missing hiker? If this is what, if you, if you, if my friend's missing in the Angeles National Forest and you're not even going to look for her, what's the point of you existing then? Do you just put out cigarette butts? Do you just get people for littering and parking violations? Anyway, I'm sorry. So, um, okay. So I guess I don't really know what the next step is because the only thing, I, I keep calling back the local ranger station and I keep saying, can you look for her now? My friend is missing and hoping that I'll get somebody else. I've gotten somebody else a couple different times, but, but they always end up telling me the same thing, which is, sorry, sir, we don't have a lot of information. We can't help you because we don't have all the information. And so I've just sort of been pacing around my room and walking around the neighborhood because I have so much anxiety about it. And I just want, I just keep like, like feeling my phone in my pocket to see if maybe she texted me back and she, still nothing, still nothing, still nothing. And I it even got to the point where people, where somebody texted me, one of her friends texted me and said, do you know where, uh, do you, you know where she is? And I was like, um, no, I, 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 that she hasn't texted you. Anyway, I haven't talked to her family or anything yet because I just, I want to make sure that I've, I don't know. I just feel, I feel like they're not going to be helpful. And I want to make sure that I exhaust all my options first. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I guess I just, I don't really know what to do. I'm going to keep you guys updated because I don't know what to do, but, but I think that maybe, I don't know. I think maybe I'm going to try to go out there myself. I think if I don't hear from anybody by the end of today, then I'm probably going to try to go out there and I'm going to probably try to hike on the trail and see if I can find her. Because if nobody else is going to do it, then I'm going to have to do it. And the other thing, too, is that she doesn't live around here. So that's kind of why I'm scared, too, because she lives on the, she's from the East Coast. So she's probably going to have the same thing of me, where it's like, I don't know where, 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 she's not going to be used to getting lost. And she's not, that's the whole thing that I was explaining about the Bengals Bay Park is going to be what's happening with her. Okay. Um, okay, so I'll keep you updated. Thank you, anybody who wants to do anything about this. I, I really appreciate it. Maybe I'll make some flyers or something, and then I'll, and then we can, I'll, I'll send out her information and all that. And I'm also, maybe I'll post, you know, the other, the, uh, the other, um, about, but maybe about, oh, sorry, I'm getting really, really, really anxious. I'm having a panic attack. Um, yeah, so maybe I'll post a bunch of stuff about what happened and, and recap it. Text space. Okay. Um, all right. Bye.